Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Rio. How are you guys getting along with the COVID-19 problem? I guess a lot of people are stuck in the house and struggling to kill time. Maybe you were just watching YouTube and bumped into this video. Today, I'm gonna talk about how the situation in Tokyo is like. I think this is gonna be a short video because I'm not an expert and I'm not a doctor and I think I will touch upon a little bit about the law in Japan but I'm not a lawyer so I can't say much about it most of my subscribers are somewhat interested in Japan you know some people might be curious about it so I thought I had something to share with you guys before we get started I have to tell this is gonna be just what I know and what I feel for now it's not that I know everything in the situation please keep that in mind now in Tokyo the infrastructure haven't been stopped yet a lot of cars and trains and subways and stuff are still running around because we are not forced to stay home the big cities in the world including New York people can't go out they must stay home right because the more people meet each other the more virus spread around so nobody's walking outside i think that's the proper circumstance but in tokyo i mean in the entire japan when you go out people are still walking and you can still take trains that are packed with a bunch of people going to work every morning it's really crazy there are many ways for the virus to spread so when i look at social media such as twitter a lot of people are claiming you know, why the government doesn't force people to stay home. Why they don't stop the infrastructure. But actually, there are some reasons that they can't do that. Well, a few days ago, a state of emergency was declared. So now people should stay home as much as possible. And it'll continue until the next month. But the thing is, it's should. It's not must. If we want, we could go out anytime. I'm living in Tokyo and working in Tokyo, but fortunately, I can work with just a laptop. As long as I have a laptop, I can work. So what I have to do haven't really changed since before the problem got bigger. I've been at home maybe for more than two weeks so far and never go out unless I need to do grocery shopping. So most of the time I'm at home. But the thing is not everyone can do so, you know? Some people need to go out and physically meet others to get things advanced where depending on the job, they just can't work at home. I think they understand that problem is really serious and people should stay home for the moment to not let the virus spread around. But it can't be a reason for them to stop going to work because still they could go to work. It's not their decision to make. The government has been saying you know, please stay home as much as possible. But they don't really guarantee so much. So if such people stop working, they would just lose their job. And no one guarantees their living. How could it be possible for them to stop working? They have to get out and go to work for money to make a living. A lot of people are still around in the city even now, but that doesn't mean they want to do so. That's the biggest problem. But, according to the law, the government cannot forcibly stop people going out. They don't have that much power actually. They would have to change the law. That's why Japan is really struggling in this situation. Now the official announcement is that we should stay home until May 6th, but it's definitely going to get longer. Definitely. And I think it's almost impossible to completely erase COVID-19 in Japan. So I'm really worried about it. Everyone's worried, of course. I can't even believe the Olympics will happen next year. It's impossible. People are so anxious because we don't know when this problem is gonna end up. One of my friends who lives in Canada, he was supposed to come to Tokyo this summer and he was really excited. I was excited too but he's most likely not gonna be able to come and some of you guys might be in the same boat I feel so sad when I think about that but anyway, staying home is the only thing we can do for now but maybe this is a good chance for us to watch anime to knock off all the anime on your list I'm now looking for a good anime to watch because I just finished a series recently leave me a comment and let me know about your favorite and this might also be a good chance to study I have a community on discord for Japanese learners and anime fans if you are learning Japanese 
you're very welcome. I think I can help you when you ask me questions there. Honestly, I'd like to put the link in the description down below, but there are always a few crazy people coming if I put the permanent link. I'm sorry for this inconvenience, but feel free to message me on Twitter or Instagram if you're interested in. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I don't know I was talking properly, but the situation in Japan is very different from the other countries. I just wanted to share about that. I understand a lot more people are struggling in the world, so let's hope things will get better soon. I'm not sure when the next video is going to be, but don't forget to subscribe. I also hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.